hi guys welcome back to my channel if you are old yet thanks if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified anytime i upload a new video today i'm going to show you how to design a short flyer using photoshop so before any further i do let's get started then go to your file and select new then here i'm going to use a4 paper size a4 paper size then change it to inches and i'm going to use landscape all right so on this color mode if you are to print it then make sure that you change it to c m y k then if it is for social media then you can use rgb so in this case i'm going to use cmyk for printing just for this tutorial but i'm not going to print it all right then you click on your grids all right now these are the resources i'm going to use then the first thing i'm going to import this one then i'll click ok then i'll go to my background select your solid color then I'm going to copy this color code here. Ctrl plus C to copy. Then come over here. Ctrl plus V to paste. Then go to your background image. And I'm going to change the blending mode to soft lights. Okay. Then the second one, I'm going to bring this background. Then I'll take it up over here. Then change the blending mode to hard lights. Then you have something like this. Then followed by this one. As you can see, I put them in number. Then you drag it up here. Then I'm going to leave it this way then you change the blending mode to lighting all right then you go to the other one again which is this i'm going to import it now i'm going to reduce the size then i'll leave it this way then change the blending mode to screen then go back again then you import this one reduce the size like this then go to your blending mode and change it to screen then i'm going to bring this one also then I will leave it around here. Then position it here. Then you scale it out. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to change this one to hard lights. Go to your blending mode. Then you change it to hard lights. So here is what you have. All right. Then after we are done with this one so the next thing i'm going to do now i'm going to bring my my church logo then i'm going to position it somewhere around the ear i'm positioning somewhere around here then now we will be before we move to our test i'm going to alight this one then i'll group it as my background okay then we proceed then here are the tests i'm going to use then i'll copy this one ctrl plus c 
then select your test tool or you press T on your keyboard then ctrl plus V to paste and the font I'm going to use here I'm going to use mod serite then make it bold then I'll drag it around here then you scale it okay then I'm going to duplicate this one ctrl plus J then I'll bring this one down then go back to your test and I'm going to copy my test then ctrl I like it ctrl plus V to paste then this one I'm going to change the color then here is the color so as you can see I indicate all the color here so I'm going to paste the color all right okay then I'm going to apply a layer style then go to your drop shadow then my blending mode is normal and the opacity is 72 then the the angle is 90 degree then leave the distance at 8 then the spread then you put 6 and the size i'm going to input 10 okay then you click okay now i'm going to copy this layer style i'm going to copy this layer style to my test here all right now the next thing i'm going to do now then i'm going to to copy this test here first before i go back to the other one then control i mean sorry press t on your keyboard then control plus v to paste then apply white color then i'm going to change the font to champion gothic then increase the font size let me use guideline all right okay now we are going to apply a layer style on this test so now select the test then go to your blending option okay now then select bevel and emboss and i'm going to use inner bevel then and chisel add why i'm going to use my depth is going to be 115 then the size i will leave it at 3 then leave the angle at 90 then the altitude i'm going to apply 90 okay then then go to your to your inner glow then you apply make sure it's normal then the opacity then you leave it at 89 then the color leave it at white then the size then leave it at 90 then go to satin then your blending mode leave it at multiply 
then your opacity then leave it at 55 then angle leave it at 90 then the size then leave it at i mean the distance leave it at 10 and the size 8 then your contour use this contour here okay then the last thing is the drop shadow then the drop shadow here i'm going to use 80 then leave the blending mode at normal the opacity 80 then the distance the distance i'm going to use 8 then the spread 8 and the and the size then 27 then you click ok so here is what we have you can increase it it's too much i'm going to reduce it because i'm going to put my image over around them okay now the next thing i'm going to do now then i'm going to select a new layer then go to your to your shape tool i mean your pen tool then leave it to be part okay now i'm going to click somewhere around here then i'll click here then you turn your mouse to create a shape all right then you drop it now after done like this what i'm going to do next is to select my test tool then come over here then you will see a sign that appear okay now after seeing that sign i'm going to click here then and i'm going to type or you can come over here then you copy your test then ctrl plus v to paste then ctrl plus a to select it all then i'm going to change the font to Montserrat then I'm going to make it bold reduce this character so now this is what we have okay having this one the next thing I'm going to do now then I'm going to draw a rectangle like this then apply a corner shape now I'm going to change the color to red then reduce the size like this while you hold your shift key now i'm going to copy my text from here ctrl plus c then select your text to then ctrl plus v to paste then i'm going to place it here Then you select this rectangle while you drag it back. Then I'm going to select these two. Then apply vertical and the horizontal alignment. Now this is what we have here. Then I'm going to copy my text from here again. Ctrl plus C then select your test tool then ctrl plus v to paste then go back to your font then i'm going to change the font to 
honey butterfly then and you copy this color from here now bring it over here then increase the size okay then having done this one what i'm going to do next is to copy this layer style to my test here then i'm going to select this one then and group it together So this one now is mine, it's my topic. Then go back to this test here and I'm going to drag it to make it more bigger then I'm going to change that font to this font here alright now that we are done with this one so the next thing I'm going to do now then I'm going to, before I copy this one, I'm going to bring this image. Then reduce the size. Alright. Now I can increase this one this way. Then go back to your test now i will copy this test here then select your test to then ctrl plus v to paste then change the color to white then i'm going to change the font here to the jacqueline Ctrl plus C to copy, select your test tool, Ctrl plus V to paste, then go back to your font, then change the font to Montserrat and make it bold and position it around here. Why I will bring this one down over here then go back again then i'm going to copy this one then duplicate this one ctrl plus j then you bring it down double click on it to select then ctrl plus v to paste Then I'm going to drag my layer style by holding Alt skill. That is to automatically copy and paste your layer style. Okay, so now this is what we have here now. Then I'm going to increase the size of this one a little. okay then go back again to your background then i'm going to draw a rent angle here 
then leave the color at white then apply a layer mask then go to your gradient tool i'm going to blend over here okay now then i'm going to come back again then i'm going to draw another rectangle here then i'm going to apply a red color okay so have you done this one now the next thing i'm going to do now then i'm going to select my test tool again then i'm going to copy this test over here select your test tool then ctrl plus v to paste then go back to your font then you change it to Montserrat. then make it bold drag it back and copy this one then I'm going to alight this one then you go over here then you click on this superscript now increase the size then I'm going to change the font to Sharpion Gothic then change the font color to this color then go back to your layer style apply a drop shadow To then use this setting here the size is going to be 10 the spread then make it 6 then the opacity 72 then leave the ang angle at 90 then you click OK then go back again to your test then and copy this one before we forget let's copy this layer style to our sunday now i'm going to duplicate that sunday ctrl plus j then i'm going to drag this duplicate up here then i will bring it down here then select your test to highlight it ctrl plus a then you now paste this one that we copy ctrl plus v2 then change the color to this then okay Then duplicate this one again, Ctrl plus J. Then come over to your test. Then you copy this one, Ctrl plus C. Then drag this one down. Now select it, then Ctrl plus V to paste. Okay. Let's click here and you drag it back. All right. Then you can select your tests. Then hold your shift key while you drag it a little. 
so that it to be equal so leave it like this is okay then after we are done with this one then I'm going to select it then I will use my arrow key while I move it this way all right then I will come over here then go to my resources then I will bring this icon then reduce the size and place it around here then control plus U to apply hue and saturation then you drag this one to the white area you can still reduce it a little always zoom in and zoom out to see how your work look like and I'm going to increase it a little all right then I'm going to bring this one back a little okay so having done like this so the next thing I'm going to do I'm going to group this one together Ctrl plus G to group and I'm going to rename it as dates then Ctrl plus U again then you drag this one to white then you click OK then I'm going to duplicate this one Ctrl plus J to duplicate then I'll drag it up then hold your shift key while you drag it so that it will be in line together then highlight it go back to your test then I'm going to copy this one then Ctrl plus V to paste then I will highlight this one then reduce the font size all right okay then after we are done with this one then the next one again we are going to bring this icon for location then you reduce the size then go back to your test then you copy the test select your test to Then change the color to black then I'm going to also change the font to Montserrat then make it bold or you use semi bold then ctrl plus V to paste Then we will reduce the size of it. Here is my time. And here is my location. group the apostle together so 
so and the last thing again i'm going to do then is the is the camera raw so which i'm going to apply okay so to apply the camera raw then hold your control plus shift plus alt key then you press e on your keyboard then you will see something like this okay now before i forget something i'm going to delete this one then my logo here i'm going to apply a drop shadow then this place i'm going to make it 27 that is the size i'm going to make it 27 then the spread i'm going to make it 8 and the opacity i will make it 80 so now then you click ok you can see a round shadow over there then we can now go back to our camera raw filter so like i said you hold down your shift plus ctrl plus alt key then you press e on your keyboard then you will see this layer so but the camera right here is not going to be active why because before the starting of this tutorial remember we change it to cmyk so then you cannot apply it on it if you want to use the camera raw filter check the text document in the description the code is there you can make use of it then the camera filter is when you are designing with rgb color uh, color mode then that you can apply the camera raw filter so that is all in this tutorial thank you so much for watching if you like this video please don't forget to subscribe then and share.